The number one effect you're going to see in every single action, sci-fi, or fantasy movie is green screen or background removal. Whether it's for a complicated battle scene like here in Endgame or for this motorcycle fight in John Wick, a green screen can place you anywhere in the world. The sky's the limit. It's not just for creating, you know, cool backgrounds in your office. To do it in CapCut, we just need a supermodel actor on a green screen. Oh look, here's one now. Since me and Christopher Hemsworth are practically identical twins, we might as well just have me catching, you know, mini, mini Stormbreaker. All of the elements I use in this tutorial, including sound effects, are linked in the description below, so you can download them now. I've also linked you to 100 free sound effects you can use wherever you want in case you don't have those yet. That's it's two separate links. First, let's bring this clip of me into the timeline and trim it up. We see here I'm raising my hand to catch Stormbreaker, but there's two takes. So let's go with the second take, just right when I'm starting to raise my hand up. And to delete all of this, we just want to use one keystroke to make this very easy. I'm going to hit the letter Q that's going to add an edit here. It's going to cut it right here and delete everything else and slide it all over because track magnet is on letter q bam and then right before i do my little cheat for the stormbreaker to appear in my hand we're going to stop it right there use the keystroke on a mac command b to add a cut right there only add a cut or on a PC, Control-B. And then I'm gonna go, once it's in my hand, so right when I'm starting to pull my hand back, let's see, ding, 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 one frame at a time. Starting to pull my hand back so it feels kind of natural and real. And again, the letter Q. And now we've got, it looks like this. So that looks not too bad. And then I come to the camera. And here's something that's really important, like, you know, when you're getting serious about editing. Notice that I'm staring at the camera like I want to be for this shot, because I'm just being stupid. And then right around, you know, I was kind of done there, but I'm really picky about this. You don't want to show yourself being done. And look right here, my eyes went to look at myself because I was done. So I don't I don't want that. So I'm gonna back up till I'm not looking at myself. And I'm just gonna type the letter W to add an edit here and get rid of the end of the clip. Bam. And now we've got everything we need, but we, we can't see through me. And once we do see through me, we want to see the background. So I've got this background. It's a Creative Commons background, meaning it's all right to use. You guys are going to use it as well because I'm just going to include it for you in the downloads. I'm just going to drag it to the timeline. I'm going to choose the point that I want and I'll just Command B. I want it there so I can see the moon going up. And I'm going to put me on top of this stuff, select everything, bring it back down. And then I trim it up. I'm just going to position my plate at the end right about here and type what letter. I'm going to type the letter W. Bam. And now we've got everything we need. Drop it down here so when I key me out, when I cut out the green, we're going to be able to see the background. Now, before I cut out the green, you want to get rid of this stuff on the sides because it's not green. To do that, we select the clip we want to trim up. Bam. And then the crop icon is visible. So I'm going to click on this guy, drag this guy over here and this over here. And you want to get rid of as much of the background as possible so you have less to worry about to key. So all we want to do is make sure that my hand doesn't break that that line right there and we're probably good. Okay, so there's a start. Now we just have to get rid of the green. To get rid of the green, what do you do? Make sure I'm highlighted here. You click on video, cut out, and you go down to chroma key. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. And by default, this color picker is already there. So we're just gonna choose a green that's gonna do the best job for us. So you want it to be the shade of green closest to your hair, which is probably right around here. I'm gonna select that. And that's not bad, but you can still see the green. So we're going to adjust a little bit. We're going to take the strength up as far as we can without degrading the rest. I'm going to get rid of a bunch of green without my shirt evaporating. So like right around here, we're starting to lose a little bit of shirt here, but the background looks all right. So that's not terrible. Now we're going to add this shadow right here, and that's going to fill in some of these gaps a little bit. And the next thing is just kind of a trick. So this doesn't look green. We're going to make it, you know, whiter, grayer. To do that, we just click on adjustment and we click on this tab right here, HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. Luminance is brightness. And now we're just going to click on the green and get rid of the, watch what happens when I do this, get rid of the saturation of the green. Oh, no longer green. And the brightness helps a, a fraction. And bam, that looks much better right there. There is a new feature in CapCut which allows you to copy and paste attributes, which is huge. I wanted that, you know, from version one. It's going to right click on this guy and choose copy attributes so that I can paste them onto this and have less work to do. I right click and choose paste attributes and it gives me all the options. All of these are fine to paste and bam, it got me close. But the one thing it doesn't copy is this crop thing. So we'll just have to crop this right here. And that's really easy. You go one, two, three, brrr, click confirm and bam. Now we have this. 
So not, not bad for a start, right? If if you like this video so far, you're gonna love my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, because I teach you to edit with CapCut in like two days. Plus, I teach you what you need to do to get more views and subscribers. You want more views and subscribers? In the comments, type yes if you do. So hit that link in the description or click like uh, right here to, to get my course now. I mean, I mean, where else are you gonna have Thor teaching you how to edit? Come on. The second most common thing you're gonna see in virtually every action, adventure, sci-fi, fantasy movie ever made are particle effects. But you didn't see that one coming. What's a particle effect? Well, if you can manipulate particles, one particle at a time, you can turn them things into like fire, explosions, and fog, and lightning. Like in this end game scene, there's a billion different particle effects happening right now. To have finite control, you need a program like After Effects or even some like very high-end pro stuff they only use in the movies. But in CapCut, we can do some pretty cool stuff very easily. Here's, here's how. You know, sometimes you see a little smoke or fog to add some ambience like in a room where it seems kind of smoky or foggy, misty background, whatever. Let's just go ahead and add, add some, some smoke to this one. There's something called purple smoke. We're just going to click on effects and go to type purple smoke. I guess it's called mist. That's even better. Let's just drag it down here in between these two layers so it appears behind me. I'll make it last the duration. We can tweak it a little bit. We can adjust the atmosphere. It takes it away and we can adjust the speed so it goes slower or faster. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's not bad. I just added another layer of like style and flair to our video. This one's basic, but there's much cooler stuff. This is Thor, right? What does he need? Well, Thor needs some lightning kind of junk and there's something called a Tyndall effect right there. And we're just gonna drag the Tyndall effect, which is right down here on top of me here. Make it last a duration of this. And you can see, whoa, look at that. I'm glowing like Thor. And Color is wrong. Thor's like always kind of blue. So we can just drag the slider here till it's kind of bluish, not green where the blue go. Yeah, that's pretty good. And filters gives you like more or less brightness and strength. We can like kind of max it out a little bit here. And we really want the lightning effect to maybe start happening right before Stormbreaker, mini Stormbreaker comes comes barreling towards me. So I'm gonna start the Tyndall effect right there. Command B to delete that. And it starts like, whoa, it's like it's glaring at me. Plus that color is a little lighter blue than I want. So I'm gonna adjust it now that I can see more of it to be a little darker blue. Like, yeah, that, that shade right there. But I don't wanna start just blasting. I want it to kind of ease in and then like peak right there when Mjolnir is, not Mjolnir, it's, it's Stormbreaker. That's, that's the ax one. When Stormbreaker is landing in my hand there. So what I'm gonna do is set a keyframe for the strength right here. So it'll be 100 when it lands right there. But I'm gonna back up to here and take the strength down to zero and it'll add another keyframe. Watch right there when I drag this to zero, boom. So now it looks like this. Poof. So that, that's, that's, come on. And then, you know, once I've summoned Stormbreaker, we wanna start fading out. So I'm just gonna add a little keyframe right here. And over the course of a few seconds here, I'm gonna turn the strength all the way down. So now, bam, it peaks there and then it just kinda, of, kinda of fades away. Wow, look, look how it, don't you look at, I look exactly like, th wait, without my shirt, you're gonna see, yeah, just kidding, that, that's on my other channel. The third most common effect you're gonna see in every single movie, not just action sci-fi stuff, is color grading. Color grading as a feel, an effect, a vibe to the whole movie, so it all feels consistent. And you know, it, it takes a while to learn to color grade and do all that manually, but CapCut's got a way to do it super easily that this is a feature that I love and you're going to love. So let's say you want this to look more like Endgame or Thor or one of those movies. Well, you can just take a still image or a clip and just put it at the end of your timeline. Now here's just a still image I got from one of uh, Thor's movies is probably Endgame. And I wanna go with that look. So like my look is just kinda, kinda bright. Like I'm, it's like purple, it's, it's blue when I'm, when I'm here. It's got me being orange, not too consistent. And this is all the same kind of a blue low saturation look. So how do I get that look here without adjusting all those layers? What a pain that would be. Well, I highlight all of these clips. I right click, I choose, create compound clip. So now anything that I do will affect everything all together as one big fat compound clip and to color grade it like Thor or Endgame, I simply click on video. And to color grade this so it looks like this Endgame clip, I simply go to Adjustment Basic 
and click on color match, which is the pro feature. And that alone might be a reason to get the pro version. Dude, I wish I had an affiliate link. How do you get an affiliate link from CapCut? So I click on this guy and I can either select from the video or I can drag and drop a still image in here. So I'm gonna select from video and just drag this to this scene right here. And it's gonna look at these colors, evaluate it and try to make me look just like that. And click okay and bam, look what it did. So. Remember, before, after, before, after. To do all of that manually, make it match that closely. It would have been really hard. I mean, come on, guys. I look identical to Thor. Here's a little bonus. I'm going to show you how to sound design this really simply. So all you want is a sound so that when Stormbreaker is flying towards me, it's like some kind of a rise or something. So I've got this thing, whoosh in, whoosh out. I'm going to just drop it down here. And I'm going to start it in the middle of the sound, like right around there, so I don't have to wait for it to ramp up. And as soon as I get to the point where Stormbreaker is in my hand, I'm going to cut it off, bam. And then I'm going to add a lightning sound effect, like, uh, let's try that first one. Maybe let's drop it in. And we'll use the first lightning sound effect, drag it right to there. Then I'll use, I don't know, a heart, whoa. Hard impact, we'll do that, like Stormbreaker just landing in my hand. And then we're gonna do just one more thunder thing right down here. And know together, all of these are gonna be way too loud, so I'm gonna highlight all of them and just drag the volume down so they're not quite as nuts. Let's have a look and see what these meters do. Click here and that meter bar appears over there. Okay, well, that's so pretty good. I feel like that should be like a frame earlier, like that lightning. Didn't hit quite on time. So I'm gonna drag this over to kill a frame of the lightning. And I'm gonna drag everything over maybe one frame and see if that's a little better. That's that's not bad at all. Now let's just trim this up here. Shift Z so I can see the whole scene. Oh, and since we did particle flux, let's just let's just do one more. If we go into effects and we type lightning, we got this thing called lightning crack. Let's have lightning crack kind of be the uh, thing that happens at the very beginning. So it's like a, a foreshadowing of stuff to come. So like so we got that lightning starting there just for a second. You know, another lightning. We'll use this. We'll use this last one right here. Plus sign. We'll trim it up. Just drag this over here. And we'll let it ring out for the whole thing. Get rid of this end piece there. And then uh, we need some lightning right around here as Stormbreaker is about to run into me here. So let's go ahead and add a little more lightning under effects. Let's grab this lightning crack guy right here. And then it'll just kind of fade out at the end. And we can adjust the speed and some other stuff in here. Let's see. <laughs> looks like the lightning got me, doesn't it? Okay, that looks okay, but I'm gonna show you this because this is gonna happen to you all the time and I want you to see what it does. So obviously it would be better if the lightning was behind me, but I've already made a compound clip, so what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is I'm gonna lose some of the stuff that I've done. So I'm gonna right click on this guy. I'm going to choose undo compound clip. I'm gonna drag this lightning crack beneath me so that it's in the right place and now it'll play like this. And it still looks like the lightning hit me, but it looks cool. So I'm going to just leave it and I'll just kind of end it a little bit sooner. It kind of does a bunch of fady fancy things. So now I've got to remake the compound clip and just do the same thing with the color grading because see my color grading is all gone. I'm still all, you know, red man instead of blue man. So what do I do? And just to show, this is how you learn stuff. You just got to do things over and over again and then you hopefully won't make the same mistakes that I do. So what I'm going to do is just drag this color match clip down here. Make sure I have the clip highlighted that I want to change, go ahead and click on adjustment, color match, and select this. And there within a few seconds, bam, I am, I'm, I'm back in business. I'm going to delete this. And now before I show you the finished product with all the sound effects and glory that goes with it, if you want to learn to color grade and color correct, they are not the same thing. Gotta watch this video right here next. And now the final masterpiece.